As we were leaving in the timeout, I was just mentioning, I think this was a great pickup by the Bearcats to get Laterno. Um, obviously, Laterno's fighting in this game, coming off the wins against Dallas Christian and Howard Payne for the Bearcats. They needed a little bit more competition. Uh, I think that's going to be great for them as they head into that tough stretch that, that we talked about this next week. Bearcats adding some points on the board out of the timeout. Now getting the rebound is Nuttall. Wait for his teammates to get down the court to set up the offense. May dumping it on off to Powers. Looking inside, they'll now swing it to the outside. Good save there by May. Turn around at the top. Cook with the three-pointer. Nice jog by Ikpe to back into the lane and kick it out to Cook for that three-pointer. Got to play inside out. 71-45 here in this one. Ten and a half minutes left to go in the ball game. Here's a three to respond, and that one nothing but net once again. Kais Wilson. Paterno playing that inside-out ball as well. Very effective. Not all inside. And looked like a bit of contact there, but either way, the Yellow Jackets taking it down the court. Another three for Kais Wilson, and that gets the Yellow Jacket bench on their feet. There's Cook with it, resetting at the top. Powers to Nuttall. Inside, trying to go for the dunk, isn't able to do it, but now a delayed call. And two free throws coming up here for Tristan Ickpeck. This Laterno team, you know, they have spurts of sparks, so to speak. As Dan Miller talks to his player there on the sideline, I think it's a very well-coached team, very aggressive. And I got the hand in the arm there as that shot was going up. One off the mark. Now three for six on the day is Ikpe from the charity stripe. But 15 points from him. Like Nuttall, Ikpe has had himself a very impactful day. Inside the lane, that one in and out. Rebound made by Nuttall. Now his seventh rebound of the game, just three from a double-double. Got to float one in, and there's the contact. Two free throws coming up. The foul will be called. You know, you're talking about Ikpe uh, in double digits so far. When I talked to Coach Hooten earlier, you know, we know Zach Nuttall is going to be a producer. He's going to be in double digits night in and night out. But what two or three more players can do that? Tonight it's Ikpe uh, with 15, May with 10 already. Um, you know, that's the kind of production. Cook has eight, can be at uh, double digits uh, with another bucket. So it's great to see the supporting cast produce as well. And they're, they're going to need that as they progress through the season, especially in the conference, um, to be uh, contending for the title. Two for two on that free throw trip. Now puts him at 20 points on the day, seven of nine from the free throw line. Foul called on Rashard Johnson, the junior guard for the Yellow Jackets. Now Jackson trying to take it in and not able to get it to bounce off the glass like he wanted. Not all. Drives it in again. Mm. And there's that speed we've been talking about all day. It's speed and agility, his physicalness around uh, the players and how he dives in and gets around is uh, impressive. Rebound made there by Jaron Cook. He'll give it to Nuttall. He'll take it again. And another free throw opportunity here for Nuttall. You know, when we look at the Southland Conference, Sam Houston State was picked third in the conference behind Stephen F. Austin and Abilene Christian. There's uh, no surprise there. I think, you know, with the turnover and, and all the new faces in this program, I really think it's impressive that they were picked number three. 
Um, you know, Stephen F. Austin brings back a lot of talent, so does Abilene Christian. Uh, so I think that that's a good spot for them to be in as they continue to build their chemistry and, and, and come together as a team. And, you know, they're going to be playing a reduced schedule than normal uh, as well. So that's another change with the pandemic. So it's going to be really imperative to get off to a good start. You know, they start one game at home with Nichols. Then, like you mentioned earlier, you know, they go on the road two games and then come back for three. And I'll tell you what, Jordan, they're going to get through some games and you're going to look up and go, we're already halfway through the season. It's, it's going to be fast. Try to get the handle on it, not able to there was Crump. Got out of bounds as a turnover. And you mentioned with the players that Sam Houston lost, you know, the fact that they're ranked third really says something. They only have two seniors on this yeah, roster. Yeah. And Lampley and Terriante Thomas. And you know, you take a look, six juniors, six freshmen. This will definitely be a well-rounded team core-wise to see what happens over the next few years. Absolutely. I think so. Taking it inside, Warren Richardson with it. He's getting his first minute. Good double team by Manny to come over there and, oh, nice play. A great alley-oop there. In Crump, traffic. Crump on the receiving end and gets the and one. Richardson called for the foul. That is his third foul of the game and Crump will head to the free throw line after this media timeout. Crump getting the free throw to complete the three-point play out of the timeout. 80 to 51 the score, just a little under eight minutes left to go in the ball game. Jordan Smith here alongside me, Ken Holland. In this matchup and there's an Aaron throw out of bounds. And I think, like you were mentioning earlier, Ken, I think you can really start to see the fatigue a bit starting to affect the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, I think so. You know, they haven't had as many games as the Bearcats have had. Uh, and then just a different level. I mean, it's just the Bearcats like to run up and down the court and wear people out. There's a baseline shot, and that one falls in for Crump. Now starting to find his own little groove. Nice to see Manny Crump being productive here in the second half. Almost lost the ball. Able to recover it was Wilson. Now here's a three from Eberhardt, and that one falls. Eberhardt has been pretty good from the field now. Nine points and two of four from deep. Yeah, Eberhardt is not afraid to come out and take that shot. It is the Manny Crump show here in the second half. Once again, Crump now nine points, four or five shooting on the day. Try to drive in here, Eberhardt, and there is the charge. A good setup there on that one with Dante Powers drawing the charge. And that was just a smart play by him. Yeah, I think that was ill-advised by Wilson to go in and drive the lane like that. All three of those bodies were just a wall sitting there with their feet planted. Now the Bearcats on a 13 to three run in the last three minutes. Trying to continue the run here. Goes in for the layup. You know, we see Zach Nuttall driving the lane. And we were impressed every time, but Demarcus Lampley can make things happen as well. Bearcats making eight of their last eight field goals, and there is a rebound off the miss from Crump. Take it outside, swing it around. Here's a three, why not? Jaron Cook with the deep ball. Nice ball movement on the break. J 
Darren Cook with open three and makes, takes it and makes it. 